Ngayon ay magsasagot naman tayo ng problems involving confidence interval. So, dito sa word problem natin, nagbigay tayo ng information o binigyan tayo ng information na mayroon daw sample na 30 at kailangan nating hanapin yung point estimate, margin of error, standard error, and sample standard deviation given dun sa statement ng company na yung AA batteries daw nila would last an average of 430 to 470 minutes at ang given confidence level nila ay 95%. So, first, sulat natin yung mga information given in the problem. So, in this case, alam natin yung confidence interval. Which is 430 and 470. We have the confidence level. of 95% at yung sample size natin of 30. Now, hindi, na, hindi given yung popula population standard deviation dito sa word problem, so alam natin na ito ay gagamit ng t-distribution or t-test or interval for t. So, ang una natin gagawin is i-illustrate yung ating confidence interval given by this normally distributed plot. So, let's say andito si 4, 30, at ito si 4, 70. To illustrate the value of the point estimate at saka yung margin of error, makukuha natin siya given itong illustration na ito. Kasi... Ang point estimate ng mu ay makikita sa middle ng ating sample. So, ito yung ating point estimate, which is our x bar. At yung ating margin of error will be the distance from the point estimate to one of the um, intervals. So, ito yung ating me. So, by this, yung point estimate na tinatawag, is madaling makuha kasi ang point estimate natin will be 430 minus 470 divided by 2 which is going to be 450 so ito yung ating point estimate or yung ating x bar now ang susunod natin makukuha is yung margin of error which is the distance from the point estimate, which is 450, uh, minus 470. So 470 minus 450, para makakuha tayo ng positive value, at ito ay 20. At tawagin natin siyang ME. Now, ang formula ng confidence interval for T distribution ay X bar plus or minus T star multiplied by Sx all over the square root of n. At alam natin na yung confidence interval formula, ito yung ating point estimate. Ito yung tinatawag na critical value. At ito naman yung standard error. So, nakuha na natin si X bar, hanapin natin si T star. At sa paghanap ng T star, ang gagawin lang natin is 1 minus confidence level divided by 2. So, using the information, 1 minus confidence level of 0.95 divided by 2 will give us, using the calculator, 1 minus 0.95 divided by 2 is 0 0.025. 0 0.025. Nagagamitin natin para makuha natin yung value ng T star using our calculator. So, inverse second bars. Inverse T is 0 0.05 
Alam na natin, degrees of freedom is 29 kasi yung sample size natin is 30. At kunin lang natin siya. Ang T star natin is 1 point... I'm sorry. Point zero two five. That will give us negative 2.045, but we need the positive value of that. So T star is 2.045. Now, to complete the work, gawa tayo ng equation sa pagkuha naman ng Sx. So, sa pagkuha ng Sx, alam natin na margin of error ay yung product ng critical value at ng standard error. So, meron na tayo yung margin of error kanina na 20. So, kung kukompute natin siya using 20 equals the margin of error formula, which is T star times Sx over over squared of n, makukuha natin yung value ng Sx in the process. So 20 equal to T star, which is 2.045 multiplied by Sx, which is unknown, divided by square root of 30. So from here, um, Kailangan lang natin si Sx, so using algebra, we're going to uh, divide both sides by 2.045. Para ma-cancel natin siya, giving us a value, and then we're going to multiply both sides by square root of 30 afterwards. So let's write it down. using our calculator so square root of 30 multiplied by 20 divided by 2.045 is going to be our SX which is 53.56 now kailangan na lang nating hanapin ngayon is yung uh, margin of error kasi nakuha na natin si point estimate Nakuha na natin si Sx. Now we just need to find the actual value of the margin of error, which is this times this. So we know what Sx is. So margin of error is equal to T star times Sx all over square root of n, which is now equal to 2.045 multiplied by 53.56 all over square root of 30. So makukuha na natin yung ME using our calculator 2.045 times 53.56 divided by square root of which is 19.9 which is 19.997 which is approximately equal to 20, kaya tama yung computation natin. At yung standard error natin, which is Sx over square root of n, makukuha na rin natin siya. Which is Sx all over square root of n. So, Sx natin is 53. 0.56 divided by square root of 30 
at 53 divided by square root of 30 using our calculator. is 9.77 or 9.78 now going back to the question kailangan natin mahanap si point estimate si margin of error si standard error at saka si sample standard deviation at using this formula we're able to find it yung point estimate natin is 450 yung ating standard deviation i equal to 53.56 yung ating standard error is 9.78 at yung ating margin of error which is 19.997 we're verified using the formula so yan yung pagsagot nung problem letter a now para naman sagutin yung problem letter b give a statistical or statistical statistically correct interpretation of confidence interval since nandito yung ating value 43 to 470 to correctly um, interpret this that would be So, yan yung interpretation nung um, confidence level na given dun sa problem.